adding more data to the Firestore database. Securing the data in the Firestore database. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how a user could gain access to a Firestore database with undefined security rules. And we're going to add security rules to the Firestore database. Currently, a person who hasn't been authenticated can retrieve data from the Firestore database. Open Developer Tools, and in the Inspector tab, we can see the Firebase scripts. If we expand one of those tags, we can see the Firebase configuration. A hacker could copy this script and run it to retrieve data from the Firestore database. So in this project, I have created a website. It is called Pack Hack. It is made up of HTML5 boilerplate, which has been automatically generated with a plugin. The scripts were obtained by loading the other project and copying the code through the web tools. This page literally took two minutes to build. In index.js, I copied the setup post function, which loops through all of the data if the data has length with a for each loop and for each post, the course title and the prerequisites are going to be logged to the console. If we look in the console, we can see all of the information that we posted to the web page. It was possible to retrieve all of the information without being authenticated. Log into Firebase Console and click on the database tab. During the creation of this course, Firestore came out of beta and is now covered by a service level agreement. Click the Rules tab. This takes you to the Rules page. There is a warning that states the rules are public, so anyone can steal, modify, or delete data in the database. Currently, the rules are set to allow anyone to read or write to any of the documents in the database. Delete the code on lines 3, 4, and 5, and replace it with match, forward slash post, forward slash, an object, which contains the post ID. We're going to allow read and write if request.auth.uid is not null. Publish the rules. In the left panel, you can see all the changes that were made to the rules of this Firestore database. Reload the web page, and this time, we cannot see anything because the user is not authenticated. Let's open the packed Firebase web page. The nav links are not visible because we have an error somewhere in our code. Check the Firebase console because that was the last place that we made any changes. On line 3, it's supposed to be post with an S. Publish the rules and reload the web page. Everything seems to be okay. Test Google Sign In and Facebook Sign In to see if everything is working. If you're wondering if this typo would have affected the hack, the answer is no. The rules require that users be authenticated to read or write anything in the Firestore database. 